Morning everybody, Saturday morning and all is well, as far as I know, is this working? Yeah. Um, I saw that Chantal was streaming for most of the day yesterday, as I said again, of course, his name hasn't been out of her mouth in the last couple of days, despite her saying on Wednesday night, was it, that that's it, it's all over. You won't hear me mention him again. Um, and I think that yesterday she had, I don't know, how many hours? Eight, nine hours live streaming. You know, the thing is that they say it's um, a sign of insanity if you keep doing the same thing over and over again. But each time you do it, you expect a different reaction. And what she's doing, she is putting herself in a situation with men whereby she attempts to buy them. It doesn't work. Men don't like that. They eventually will rebel. Every man likes to feel that he's looking after his woman. I don't know about in Nada's case, of course, because... Um, and I'm going to say it, and I don't care whether you, any of you say I'm racist, which I'm not, or that I don't know what I'm talking about, which I do. But there are certain cultures whereby, and I've said this before, women are a little lower down in the hierarchy than camels. And particularly women who have no self-regard. When I worked in the Middle East, you know, family was a big thing and sons looked after their mothers. They would attempt to guide, i.e. steer, i.e. manoeuvre and manipulate their sisters into arranged marriages and situations whereby they didn't really mix with outsiders. I was fortunate. I had quite a high-powered job. And I was working for a Saudi prince, and I mixed with, with, mixed with a lot of a lot of different people. Got invited to a lot of different functions and at the embassies, etc. And so I got to know these people very well. And there was one girl who I actually worked with, uh, a Muslim girl. She wasn't very old. And she got her mother's permission, the family's permission, to invite me over um, for, for tea. And uh, I must admit I was shocked because they re the, the men, first of all, introduced and then quickly ushered off to a room with just the women. But what shocked me really was the way that um, they had the Filipinos working there and they referred to them just as the servants. I mean, even in this day and age, I wouldn't have thought that, you know, that went on, but it did. And I'm going right back now. I'm going back a long time, <laughs> the Gulf War time, pre. Anyhow, doing the same thing over and over again, you're not going to get a different result each time you're going to get the same results even though it's with different men i do believe that it's been it's been scripted not sort of scripted as you would write a play but just as what i said the other day you do this i'll do that and you know we will gaslight them all we'll fool them all and they've done that to a large extent and they've got some pretty hefty pay packets. I believe they got one yesterday. I know that Nada's account initially was a satellite account of Chantal's. Whether, I don't know how it works, whether she could sign that over to him, I don't know. Or if it's still in her name. If it's still in her name, then the pay packet from that channel will go into Chantal's bank account. So how that's going to work for Nada, don't know. Um, 
she said she's turned his phone off. But every time she's ringing and ringing and ringing, but he won't answer. You know, just because you turned his phone on doesn't mean to say that he has to pick up an answer to you. He's under no obligation to do so. You both agreed on, on Wednesday. Both of you said separately. And he said time and time again that it was over. So why would you think he's going to answer your calls now? And he still has his guest there. He still has Dee Dee there. I think it's been scripted. I think it's been a money grab. I think maybe things haven't gone quite as well as they anticipated because feelings and pride and jealousy have gotten into the mix. I don't like the fact that Dee Dee is being shamed because she's 46. I've got a couple of decades on, on her. Why would you shame her because she's 46? And Chantelle, with your lifestyle, you probably won't reach that ripe old age of 46. That brings me to all these plans you've got for going to Europe, for going to Croatia, for going, because they've got hot men, for going to um, Jamaica. Do you know what you sound like? You know, you're talking about men picking up a man. Um, you've got one who allegedly texted you while you were on your last live stream saying, are you free tonight? And you said, no, but what about tomorrow night? That's not the actions of a heartbroken woman to me. It isn't. But the plans you've got to fly to Europe, for example, please don't come to the UK. We don't want you here. Um, you know, we've got enough with degenerates as it is. Don't need another one. But um, how are you going to fly? You're pushing four hundred pound in weight, so you wouldn't sit on. You wouldn't. You wouldn't just need one seat. You'd need to book two seats just for yourself. And then. How would you get insurance to fly that distance? The distance from Canada to, say, well, skip London, go over to Europe. You know, how long are we talking? 12 hour flight? How would you get insurance to um, bolster you in the event that you had some sort of relapse, breathing problems, um, heart failure. I believe you've got problems with your lungs also. Um, plus the way you're coughing at the moment, nobody's going to accept you on a flight anywhere. So you're coming out with all these plans for your visas, but there's nothing to them. You're talking bull crap rubbish absolute rubbish weeping and crying about nada is this how it's going to go on now you come on you switch on your camera and you sit there and wait for your bees as to start agitating the chat and then you'll come in occasionally oh i'm heartbroken why would you do this guys i know let's bees from montreal i book a hotel i book a suite 
what happened to the guy you were going to meet in Montreal, Eddie Murphy? Nothing came of that. You just talk a load of rubbish. I mean, I'm sure one of the days something you'll say will come to fruition. And I hope it's the vet checkup, the BBJ. We'll see, won't we? In the meantime, I suggest that you find another subject to talk about for a little while. Because although it's brought you a lot of money in up until now, there's a feeling on the outside and the general feeling is that people are getting really sick of it. I know I am. I haven't even come prepared with notes or reacting to a particular video because I just... There's other things that are far more interesting. Um, my next video today, hopefully, I want to do a video about teenage pregnancy. Okay, I'll finish with Chantal now, sorry. I came across a, a reaction video and this reaction video, <coughs> excuse me, this reaction video was in regards to a girl, a young girl in the States who had got pregnant at 13. So she had the child supported by her mother who she didn't have a very good upbringing she had um, a pretty traumatic upbringing with the parents fighting all the time and her father had broken her, her mother's neck I'm not sure whether she was a witness to that but this is what was going on and she remembered it all and she's traumatised by it all so I guess she looked outside for love, she looked outside for attention and affection and she got pregnant at 13. So she had the baby and credit to the mum because she, you know, she helped her. Um, but then she got pregnant again at 15. So by the time before she turns 16, she has two children, um, both by, I believe he's five years older than she is, and um, he's at, at college in another state, um, is in no position to pay for his two kids, but he wants to, he want, didn't want to have an abortion with the second. Um, not sure how often she even sees him. But that's the situation. Um, oh yeah, what I was going to say. So, she's come on and she's made a YouTube channel when she was 13, that was her first video, what it's like being pregnant at 13. You'll find it if you look, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it on here anyway when I do, when I do my video. Um, so she did this video when she was 13, and followed up with other videos, and I think she's now got a following, I can't, don't quote me on this, but she's got a, a following of around about, 65, 70,000 subscribers and and what she's done as well is that people have been sending you know she's got her address there so people have been sending gifts and sending money and everything um, from what right back when she was 13 but for the second baby she also put a wish list and um, of things that they needed and she's saying that we need everything um, 
I would have thought some stuff would have been kept back from the first kid, but anyway. Um, so she's making a career out of YouTubing. She's got to be getting, I don't know, a couple of thousand dollars a month, which isn't bad for a 16 year old, is it? And then, you know, I'm not sure what the benefits are over there. Um, so even if he, he was working, the baby daddy, um, his pay probably wouldn't need to be garnered because she's going to be making quite enough with the income from YouTube, the gifts that she's getting, um, and all the rest of it. But I'm, I'm, I can't do the video right now because I've got to go back and I've got to make sure of my facts and um, write a few notes down so I'm not talking at the top of my head. And I'll come back and do a reaction on it because, as a lot of you know, Alfie and I got married um, about six weeks after I was 16, as soon as we could. And no, I don't regret it. And we had our first child a year later. And we had, we completed our family by the time I was 20. There's a few things that I'd change. I'd change. I wouldn't have a career. I would change that. I, I would not. That was a big mistake on my part. Um, it took away a lot of what I could be putting into my family, Alfie and the children, and plus the wider family, Alfie's mum and my mum, um, and sisters and brothers and what have you. But that's another story and that was my stupidity which I hold my hands up to anyway I'll be back a little bit later and um, have a great day and see you then okay bye bye